Let's take a look at this practice question. Make sure you've tried it out before you watch the solution video. So we want to factor the polynomial 6x squared plus 5x minus 6. Now, I know that I'm going to need uh, my px times qx to give me 6x squared, and I'm going to need my m and my n to multiply to negative 6. There's a lot of different factors. 6 can be broken down into 1 and 6, 2 and 3, and then once I put on the negative sign, there's even more ways for me to flip it around. So I'm not going to do this the straightforward way. I'm going to use the decompose strategy to help me factor this. If you're familiar with a straightforward way where you guess and check and try to figure out which uh, crisscross product gives you the middle term, feel free to do that. I'm going to use decompose. So first thing I need to do is write out my a, b, and c. a is the number in front of x squared. b is the number that's in front of our x. And c is the number by itself, the constant. So now I could uh, write out my first step, which is I need to find two numbers, m and n, such that m times n is a times c, and m plus n is b. So that means that m times n has to equal 6 times negative 6, which is negative 36. And m plus n has to equal b, which is 5. So I need to write out all the different possibilities for this. Now, if I want two numbers to multiply to give me a negative number, well, one of them has to be positive, one of them has to be negative. But once I add them, I want an overall positive. So the bigger number is going to be my positive, and the smaller one is going to be my negative. So let's list them out. What multiplies to 36? Let's start from 1. 1 times 36. Does 2 work? Well, yeah, 2 times 18. How about 3? 3 times 12? 4. 4 times 9? 6. Oh, 6 times 6. And I can stop right there because I see 6 times 6. If I flip it around, it's 6 times 6 again, so I'm repeating. So remember, the bigger number is the positive one, the smaller one is the negative. So these are my five possibilities. Which one of these five possibilities add up to positive five? Figure out which one that is, and then decompose your trinomial into ax squared plus mx plus nx plus c, and then unpause the video. So out of all five possibilities, negative 4 plus positive 9, that's the only way to get positive 5. So we are going to decompose 6x squared plus 5x minus 6 into 6x squared minus 4x plus 9x, which is still 5x, minus 6. And then now in step 3, we are going to factor by grouping. So grouping my first group here, 6x squared and negative 4x, what do they have in common? What's the GCF? Well, 6 and negative 4. Both of these numbers um, have a factor of positive 2, so I'm going to take out a 2. And then x squared and x, I can factor out an x. Let's see what's left over. 6x squared divided by 2x, that's 3x. Negative 4x divided by 2x, well, negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. x divided by x is 1. Okay, now how about the second group? 9x minus 6, what can I factor out? Well, 9 and negative 6, they both have a factor of 3, so I'm going to take out a positive 3. 9x divided by 3 is 3x. Negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Is there anything else we can factor out? Absolutely. This bracket, 3x minus 2, I can take it out in front. So I'm dividing it out. So if I divide them out, I'm left with the 2x and the positive 3. So this is the fully factor form. And as an exercise, I'm going to have you do a quick check. Foil or use the distributive method, multiply this out, and you should end up back at 6x squared plus 5x minus 6. And that's how you know that you did this question correctly.